Hello everyone, Mitchell Reichert, CEO of June Group. I am here with my friend Tom Scott, Chairman, CEO of the Nantucket Project, serial entrepreneur, businessman, digital media exec. We're here to talk about mobile and content and how things are changing. One of your primary roles is creating great content for this world. And as the ways that we consume it change, how does that affect the content and, and how do you deal with it? That question, uh, Casey Neistat, who if you're like a social media freak, is a guy I've worked with for a whole bunch of years and he was just made the GQ Entertainer of the, of the Year Award. And I looked at that and I thought, my God, a YouTube kid, he's not a kid anymore, is getting this award. And, and his ability to, to touch and relate to people is so new and so different in the world today, and, and I ask myself the question, what can I learn from somebody like him? Again, I know that's not the greatest answer in the world, but I think maybe the best answer you can have right now is to constantly be trying something new. But how do you think about it when you're working on a project? Do you think, wow, we better shoot this in portrait because most people are gonna see it on their, on their phones? Yeah. I mean, the answer is yes, yes, and yes. Um, and the fact of the matter is, what our philosophy, our strategy is mix, which is not only ours, you know, it's a lot of people's. If you've, I was recently at the headquarters of Tastemade, and on all their equipment, any monitor you see is carved out for the different formats. Mm -hmm. So I'd be shooting this and I'd get, I'd see this for, for Snapchat, I'd see this for Facebook or whatever it is, right? And then they have a television version of it. And each thing is sort of tailor-made and done differently. Um, that's what you kind of got to do. How are advertisers holding themselves accountable and how is that changing? Because it's, it's no longer as simple as, as reach and frequency and CPMs. I wish I knew that answer. I had two relationships that I spent a year on and those relationships began boldly. We have to do something new. You guys are doing something new. We want to take a risk between filmed content and live content and ideas and individuals and we want to build a relationship. Great. Let's do it. And we went on a nine month journey with both of them. And in the end, we ended up in a room where people asked those questions. By the way, after we got the thumb up from the agency in both cases, and we got lost in that room. And I could feel and watch the fear. You know, you could just see it happen. So Again, I think that we're in this middle place where you've got these storyteller, marketer types who said, I gotta do something new. And I, and I know sort of some of the elements that make up that new thing, but when it comes right down to it, these are people who have not spent a lot of time in the fear zone. There are some bright horizons out there and some things that are possible that, that were not possible before. Give us some of the, the really positive things you see and, and maybe how brands are taking advantage of it. So I'll say two things. One is demonstration, like you've got to demonstrate. Too much inputs in people's heads today. Too, in business people's heads, there's too much going in. So when you're using words, those words don't lay, lay into them. So you've got to demonstrate. And when I can demonstrate our good work, I get somewhere. The other side of that is um, thoughtful. It's got to be thoughtful. If you're not doing new, it's so old. I have one person on my team who's good, and she does good viral things. But if she wears similar clothing from one thing to the next, no one clicks on it because they think they've already seen it. That's terrific. Thank you so much. Thank you.